So I've been getting this question a lot lately with how do you organize your parts and footprints and whatnot. So I'm going to show you how I do that real quick. Uh, unless you're using a more integrated approach like uh, ORCAD CIP or CIS, then this is kind of what you have to work with. So you have your project folder, your overall project folder, and let's call this uh, Buck Asynchronous. And in here, in the top level of the project folder, I have my DSN file. So this is the DSN file. This DSN holds the schematic file content. So if I were to open ORCAD Capture, this DSN file holds all my schematic pages and sheets and everything. The OPJ file uh, has this, it organizes this entire design tree. But if you actually want the actual files, it's the DSN, the schematic. Now, that's the schematic DSN. What about the library file here? This library file holds the schematic part symbols. So you can right click that and open the file location and that is located in here. I like to keep my OLB in the same folder as my DSN file. That's just a habit of mine. You can really put it anywhere, but that's where I like to have it. Now, uh, there's another folder. When I make a PCB, uh, when I generate a PCB using the PCB new command tool there, it creates another folder called Allegro. Why does it do this? It does this because a BRD file, there's a legacy, there's a legacy fileware or a legacy software called Spectra, and it's still in use. You know, that's what does the auto routing. Spectra creates a DSN file when it is uh, doing automatic routing and whatnot. In, in fact, it takes in a DSN file and it does the routing and it spits something back up. You don't want Spectra to pull in your original DSN file for your schematic. This DSN file is different from a Spectra routing DSN file. If Spectra grabs this, it's going to mess up your entire design and then it's going to dump it back out and you won't have a design anymore. All right. So um, that's why the this is put in a different folder. The BR, the board file that you want to do auto routing on is put in a, its own folder. So this is how I organize my, my design. And now where do we put footprints? So how I put, how I organize footprints is I place my footprints in wherever the default settings in PCB editor, look for them. So to find that out, you would go to setup, user preferences, then go to your paths library. And then I, wherever it's looking for PSM path, which is the uh, uh, part symbol, it will look in the current working directory or the dot of the, of this PCB. The PCB is in the Allegro folder, right? If you recall. So it'll be looking at the Allegro folder for footprints, first of all. That means you can put your footprints or part symbols in here, your PCB symbols in the same folder, just, just like that. The DRA files directly in there. That's a bit messy. I prefer this other option where it's looking in the current working directory that is Allegro. And then it will look for right click, new it will look for another folder within this directory called symbols next. This is where I like to put my footprints, but that's entirely up to you. I'm going to move this out the way after it checks there. It's then going to say, okay, well, I don't, after I check that folder, I'm going to go one folder up. That's why the dot dot is there. I'll go one folder up and I will look for PSM files and DRA files in this folder. So that means you can put your footprints directly in here for your schematic design, but that's a bit messy. Uh, in any case, not only that, it looks for another symbols folder here. Sometimes I put my symbols folder in here instead of within the Allegro folder, because sometimes my Allegro folder, I mean, you know, my Allegro folder isn't made yet when I'm doing the schematic. So I put my footprint symbols here usually actually. And then I eventually move them into the Allegro folder when I'm, when I've transferred, transferred to PCB. Then it will look for, uh, these folders 
to eventually find the footprints it needs to uh, get the PCB going. Likewise with the pads, the pad stacks. So I highly recommend putting your pad stacks and your PCB footprints inside the same symbols folder within your main project directory. And that's where you can put your footprints. Where are my footprints for this design? Like how I managed to get it in here. They're actually in that bottom, that last folder you saw in that list because I got these parts on the manufacturer part search. All right. So, all right. So that is how you can organize your footprint symbols. It's very simple, uh, a very, um, simple and not the best, but you know, it's sort of the best you can kind of do unless you want to put your symbols on a server. That's, you know, a lot of people do that. Although they put it on a separate drive. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure if you do do that, you go in here, go to setup, user preferences, and for your PSM path and for your pad path, make sure you change both. And by change, I mean, uh, make sure you add that folder. If you're using a custom folder, add it. And once you've added it, let's say this was the folder we added, right? You want to put this at the top of the list. Orcad will not pick the most recent footprint you created, it will pick the one that it finds first in that list. All right. Not only do you do that for the pad path, you do that for the PSM path as well. Put your custom folder at the top of the list if that's how you want to do that. All right. So that's how I organize my footprints. Uh, that's if you're not using CIP, CIS, but CIP and CIS are just much better and managing parts and footprints. All right. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you later.